I wanted to share with you the immense value that you can get from doing mastermind meetings and of course from finding a mastermind partner or partners to do those mastermind meetings with. So I personally have been doing weekly mastermind meetings with my girlfriend, my current relationship, for quite a while. And the way we conduct it is once per week, we set up a date where we sit down for between 90 minutes to two hours and we can basically bring up anything that we want and talk about it. And the cool thing is that this in this meeting, we don't get to use our phones and, you know, open Facebook. And it's not like uh, just kind of talking and then, oh, I want to talk about something, you know, just during the day. It's time that that is booked specifically for raising stuff that we want to talk about, meaning that <clears throat> th there are no distractions, there's nothing, uh, nowhere else to do, no, no, nothing else to do, nowhere else to go. This is basically like an official meeting and it's treated as such. So, for example, before the meeting, uh, we're not allowed to start raising subjects until we, again, sit down and officially start the meeting. Uh, we always show up on time. Basically, we treat it like a super serious business meeting. Okay, now, what are the benefits? So, what I do is I look at my life and I look at my relationship, my business, my goals, my fitness, um, friendships, anything that currently either I don't feel good about or something that I potentially want to uh, improve. This can start with small things like, uh, you know, in my relationship, like you, there's this thing that I wanted to bring up, something that, you know, she did, that I do, that I want to talk about. Maybe it's about being honest. Maybe it's about something that bothers me. Or it could be something like, look, I haven't been working out enough. We need to talk about it and find a way to fix it. Or again, this is bothering me. Or even I want to talk about this and why it's really good. So I bring up a lot of subjects. And the, the meeting is the time when we sit down and deeply discuss them. Now, you have many benefits to this. First of all, most people, I'd say like 98% of all people, do not have a fixed time where they actually sit down once per week and think about their life from a practical perspective of fixing things. So I do daily reports every day because um, they're daily <laughs> um, and, and, and ask myself various questions like how did I do today, uh, where was I excellent, where was I not so good, what are my goals for today, what values do I want to embody, what could get in the way of having a good day tomorrow. So that's like day-to-day -day, uh, optimizing. But what you can do with mastermind meetings is long-term optimizing, like actually create strategies together with your partner or with, uh, you could say your mastermind partner or partners and really solve problems. So instead of being in a relationship and having something that bothers you and then not discussing it, or maybe, you know, you only discuss it when you're mad about it. Like, for example, there's something she does that makes you angry and then you only raise it when you're actually angry because she did it. Again, you're not rational. You're not going to solve the problem because you're just coming from a place of anger. Uh, so you can actually talk about it ahead of time. And again, in an environment where you both chose to sit down and focus. So you can find a, a really good friend to do this with. Again, it needs to be somebody who's actually uh, with very, you know, you, someone you respect, someone who de develops themselves, someone who can give you a good second opinion on things that you raise um, so just again just to give an example for things that I raise uh, in my master my meeting so um, one problem that I have is that I have a very tough time with uh, long-term vision so I'm really good in short term like okay I want to do 
uh, this achievement or set I set this goal and I think a week ahead you know maybe two weeks maybe a month ahead and I set up a goal I create a some sort of a deadline and a really strong incentive where if I don't complete the goal something bad will happen and I usually accomplish these goals very well uh, almost 100% success rate but where I dismally fail is in setting up long-term goals and thinking about future vision so I'm really bad at looking like a year from now or five years or ten years from now and actually saying okay this is what I want to be uh, th and th let's think backwards from the end to you know let's uh, break it down and create a plan to get there so I like to keep my options open uh, to a fault and this is a problem so this is something that really came up to my mind in the last few days so I wrote it down and now it's a topic for my next mastermind meeting uh, with my partner which means that we're gonna sit down talk about it solve it while most people spend their lives carrying unsolved issues that only grow so if I did not have that mastermind meeting that that place where I can fix it what would most likely happen is I would carry it for years until hopefully I would be forced to improve it but most likely I would never fix it and if, again even if I sit down alone even if you sit with yourself and think about it without having that second person to uh, provide a contrast to you to basically contrast against your biases your emotions uh, to help you stay grounded in strategic thinking to challenge you you're not you're just not going to do it <laughs> like it's not going to happen because again you're only uh, rational and strategic up to the point where it starts to get personal and emotions are involved okay so again this is why it's so amazing this is and I, I've told my girlfriend many times I think this is the most important part of our relationship I think that um, this is this is one of the key uh, fun foundations of our relationship because this is a time where we talk about things that we want to change, fix, solve, improve. Uh, again, I'm not I'm not trying to say like okay, this is our complaint meeting. No, not at all. This is the time where we sit down and honestly share things that we want to to say, to change, to improve, and know that the other person is there a hundred percent and he's there just like us to create practical solutions to problems and also listening in a very deep way that you don't usually get during the day where people are busy and there's distractions and God knows what. So find yourself a mastermind partner. Uh, this could be your best friend, this could be a business partner that you get along with, this could be just random person, you know, not even your best friend, not even a friend, somebody you, you just met online. Uh, but you guys are uh, have really good shared values and good chemistry and set up like a weekly Skype call or do it with your family member who, again, you get along really well with or with um, basically anyone you can think. Again, as long as you really get along with, with that person or people and uh, you respect them and you know that they will challenge you properly and that they do actually have your um, kind of the same vision or, or or the same direction in mind like if you're going to do a, a mastermind meeting with your mom <laughs> who's highly uh, conservative in terms of taking risks and uh, she doesn't want you to you know be an entrepreneur and stuff uh, even though you respect her and you love her uh, again it's not going to work because you you sit down with her and you say okay I uh, want to accomplish this and this you know I want to talk about creating a plan to, for example, uh, execute something that's really important for me. And she's going to be like, oh, you know, it sounds nice, but she's going to try to change the course to fit her agenda of being careful. So find someone who is actually on the same line, which again, this is why uh, someone who's a partner, who's actually like a relationship partner is the best because uh, ideally, and you know, if you pick the right partner, uh, your boyfriend or girlfriend or wife or husband are, you know, you're all heading the same direction because you're living together and uh, trying to build a life together. 
and also you probably have shared values and also they have a vested interest in your success because uh, let's say again they help you make a lot of money that means they make a lot of money and also because you see them every day that means they can uh, much e more easily uh, make sure that you actually follow through on what you say which is uh, one final key point about mastermind meetings it doesn't just end in the meeting it needs to be something where you can set up uh, systems where you can set up accountability for each other so for example you say I want to start working out every day and then your partner helps you set up a, a, a routine where you do it for 15-20 minutes every day and you again sit down on how can this uh, go wrong and, and what could we do about it and how do you make sure that you do it how do you create a commitment maybe even create like a game or a risk or if you miss uh, more than two three days a week you have to pay that person like two hundred dollars or something um, of course something where you, they don't have the incentive to make you fuck up but um, but you just uh, you build it like that and then the partner actually outside of the mastermind meeting also makes sure to uh, keep track of you and you keep track of them and you basically grow together amazingly and what I found is that the more you do these meetings and also the more uh, you know you get used to to raising things and you can see gradually that everything that you raise like in any issues anything you want to improve you raise it and then you find a strategy together and you solve it and you basically don't finish the meeting until you solved it so you gain increasing confidence in that person uh, and your ability together to conceptualize things and actually execute them in real life and um, and, and what's cool about that is that the more you do that the, the the more trust you have and the more trust you have the more confidence you'll have and the more confidence you'll have the deeper the questions and 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 things you're bringing up and willing to ponder will be so for example at the beginning of our uh, relationship uh, when we just started doing the mastermind meetings we would raise you know very simple topics like you know when you do that behavior it's uh, kind of annoying so uh, let's find a solution where you know you, you don't have to change too much uh, and maybe I'll change a bit and then we're both happy um, you know the things like that or hey I want to do this habit so uh, you know maybe help me make sure it happens and again uh, at this point I'm basically coming to her to this uh, to to our meeting and being bringing up stuff like like hey I have this deep uh, childhood trauma or insecurity that I want to share with you and work together with you on or um, again like what I want to do with her uh, the, actually tomorrow in the mastermind meeting which is actually like hey look I'm frustrated because I don't have a future vision so we need to actually sit down and, and literally you need to help me paint an entire vision of my future and, and actually sit down with me patiently and do it <laughs> which is something that to be honest I've never really done so it's really really cool the benefits are incredible it's just like an hour or two a week you know two hours a week are I think ideal um, you know for the meeting and um, well I feel sorry for you if you don't have it I mean this is simply one of the greatest tools you can have to make sure you're uh, progressing in life you know you're not fucking up you're living up to your expectations you're actually fulfilling your commitments uh, again, it gives you an amazing sense of contribution, of growth. You're seeing yourself develop with another person. You're building incredible trust and chemistry with someone else. And you're simply co-creating life. You're basically sitting down with someone, envisioning a future, or envisioning uh, something that could be different, uh, better about uh, tomorrow, and actually sitting down, talking about it, thinking of a plan, executing it. It gives you so much confidence in the ability of human beings to, to to manifest reality to basically you know uh create what they uh want to create you know if you have the the desire the patience and the right strategy to follow through on it so uh again this is something i'm really passionate about so as you can see it's uh, as you can hear it's a really cool topic and if you need help uh with it just again send me a message or again, even better is a, a comment and I'll be happy to give you advice 
Uh, if you want, you can uh, hop on with me uh, for a free first strategy session on Skype. Um, and uh, I have a lot of stuff to offer in terms of uh, what you can find that I'm offering in the description. Uh, I have a free ebook that will teach you everything you need to, about, to know about online business and closing $1,000 plus sales uh, pretty much on a weekly basis. A uh, very simple guide, 80 pages long. I basically say everything I know about it, about business uh, in this guide for free. And also you can get my autobiography called Evolution of a Maniac on my uh, uh, website. You, you get the offer right after you get the free ebook. So hope this helps you. Uh, again, love the feedback, love the support. And uh, see you next time.